So you've been in no contact, and suddenly, here comes the avoidant out of the shadows, trying to come back. They're telling you they've made a huge mistake, and they really regret the breakup, and they want to get back together. Should you give this person another chance? Well, it depends. First of all, whether you choose to or not is entirely your choice. If you don't want this person back, if you don't want to risk your heart again, that is entirely your right to say no. No thank you, I wish you the best, but I'm not willing to take that chance. I was very hurt before. If you do want to give this person another chance, well, you might want to take a look and see, is this person committing to change? Have they really self-reflected? Have they taken accountability? Or are they just trying to sweep it under the rug and pretend it never happened? Because don't forget, this person ditched you in a brutal manner. Maybe they blindsided you with an abrupt discard, or maybe they slow faded into oblivion. Maybe they ghosted you. But chances are, the ending was brutal. It wasn't, it wasn't healthy and it was very painful. And you don't want to go through that again. If you let them sweep it under the rug and pretend it never happened, chances are it's going to happen again. Because this person is showing you that they haven't done the work, they haven't done the self-reflection, and they're not committed to change. They just want your validation again because they miss the benefits of you. If this person is truly committed to change, then see at that point if they can follow through. Can they go to therapy? Can they continue to go to therapy? Can they take true accountability? Can they take ownership of the way they hurt you? If they can and they continue to, well, then there's reason to believe there might be hope that this person can change and you can take a cautious chance on them. There are many people that will promise to help you get your avoidant ex back. Well, yeah, you can get them physically back, but if this person is not doing the work, you're setting yourself up for heartache all over again. And do you really want to put yourself in the position to get devastated and blindsided a second time or watch this person fade into the distance yet again? It's just as painful the second time around and the third time around. I would strongly advise against taking the avoidant back unconditionally and protect yourself. If you do want to give them a second chance, let them know, well, I'm open to this, but this is what I need to see from you and then give them a conditional chance that you're open to rekindling it slowly if this person shows you that they are truly committed to change, meaning better communication, not disappearing, not giving in to their fears, and definitely therapy. It's certainly up to you whether you want to give this person another chance or not because it's your heart on the line. And don't forget, they shattered your heart in a way that you absolutely did not deserve because you never would have done it to them. However, if you really are determined to give this person another chance, my recommendation is to proceed with caution. Avoidance are capable of change. They absolutely are, but this person has to want it and you have to make sure that you are not enabling their avoidant behavior. If you let it sweep under the rug like it never happened, you are enabling, you're sending them the message that you're always there for them and there's no incentive for them to do anything different the next time their fears are triggered. Just some things to think about. Protect your heart, you owe it to yourself. Hold some boundaries.